Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be introducing something that has been the talk of the town for a while now. Well, not really a while, it's it's pretty new. Not a lot of people are talking about it, but I recently actually checked it out and I think it's worth your time. So what I'm talking about is OpenAI's Open AI's chat GPT. So it's basically a chatbot that you can ask questions to. Without further ado, let's just get started. So you can click on the try chat GPT button here. You can go to this and obviously it's gonna ask you to sign up or log in. Uh, I'm already logged in so we can just get started. So you can start asking questions. It definitely has some capabilities and limitations, but I don't want you to worry about them. And this particular tool is not for you to ask philosophical questions like does free will exist or does God exist? Rather, I would like my developer friends to ask it questions or you can just ask it like basic questions like for example how do I uh, create an animation in After Effects or something like obviously if you ask it certain questions like this it's, it's definitely gonna let you know but I want you to ask it very specific questions and they don't necessarily have to be very specific but you can ask it other developer questions that are going to be really helpful to you so right now it's taking some time I'm not really sure, maybe there's a lot of like traffic on the site, but it doesn't usually take that much time. So again, it's telling me or giving me the answer for the After Effects question, but I'm gonna write another question. A lot of people come to me and with basic CSS questions, like how do I position an element on the left and one on the right using CSS? Now that's a pretty common question for new front-end developers. So if we just ask it that, it's gonna give us the answer to that as well. And not only is it give, gonna give us the answer, it's actually gonna help you do that particular thing step by step. So let's just wait for it to generate the answer to position an element on the left and one on the right. You can use the float property. As we all know, we can obviously use a float to position one element on the left and one on the right. So again, we can apply these classes to do that and that's gonna do it. It also mentions you can also use display flex justify content properties to position elements on the left and the right. I would obviously always prefer using position, uh, using flexbox over uh, basic, over sorry, float. So again, this is really great stuff. Okay, some other stuff, like other questions that you can ask, how do I store data on the browser? I mean, it's gonna give me an answer to that as well. Now, as we all know, before it even gives us the answer, there are different ways like local storage, session storage, cookies, and all of that stuff. So let's see, let's just see what answer it gives. I actually know what answer it gives because I've asked this particular or, or a similar question to it. So again, you can store, use local storage and session storage. But the great thing about this particular tool compared to Google, let's say, is you don't have to jump to different sites. You don't have to jump to Stack Overflow or all of that stuff. Obviously, if you wanna get into the nitty gritties, maybe Stack Overflow is a better approach. But here you can just ask these basic questions and it's gonna tell you how to do that. So it's giving me a code to generate, to set item or store the item on local storage, get the item on local storage, similarly for the session storage as well. And I can keep on asking it really great and amazing questions and it's just gonna give those answers back to me. So this is a tool that I would really like you to start using. You can obviously ask its other generic questions about development as well. Like for example, is native development better than React Native or Flutter? So we can just ask it that. Let's just see what it thinks about that particular question. So again, it's giving us, us a nuanced answer. It's not basically saying that again, you, there's this one particular answer, rather it, it obviously lets us know that overall the best approach for your project will depend on your specific requirements. If performance and access to platform specific features are most important, native development may be the, may be the best choice. If you want to save time and effort by building a single code base for multiple platforms, a cross platform framework like React Native or Flutter may be a better option. Now, as a developer, I obviously know that this actually is the correct answer. So again, it's really, really relevant for a lot of developers who are actually starting out or maybe even like professional developers who just want to get quick answers to these questions so that's going to be pretty much it for this video do subscribe do hit the bell icon and do check this tool out